So question number four, why are these triangles congruent? And they want you to circle one of the reasons why. Now these four acronyms, I guess you can call them, are rules and you can use them to prove that a triangle is congruent. But before that, let's define what congruent is. So congruent means that the triangles are the same shape and the same size. Now as for the four rules, now I've moved the triangles over, which actually makes it kind of obvious that they actually are the same shape and size but regardless we're going to go through the rules and explain why they are congruent now these four rules you know they if one of them is met it means that the triangle is congruent so let's go through each one at a time and see whether it is correct now ASA that means angle side angle and so this side is going to have to be between two angles so we're going to have the same angle the same side and then the same angle you know in one triangle and then we're going to have the same pattern in the other triangle we don't know two of the angles we know one angle uh, we know the right angle so you know I'm sure we could try and work them out but that's not the point of the question so you know we we don't have that information given to us so ASA is not going to be correct next we have RHS which means right angle hypotenuse and side so basically they have a both have a right angle both the triangles you know both the hypotenuse are the same length which we can see here because it's the side opposite the hypotenuse or opposite the right angle sorry and yeah they also have a side which is the same length so we know this is going to be the correct answer so it's because of RHS but let's go through the other two so side angle side pretty similar to ASA and that basically means we have a side an angle and then a side so you know the side then an angle between and then another side and they have to be the same on both triangles we do have two sides but the angle is not between between the two sides so this rule is not applicable and we already know it's the right hand side rule but regardless we still can't do it because of that reason or because of those reasons now SSS which sounds kind of messed up but okay so that means side 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 and that basically just means that you know all three sides are the same length SSS so there you go I hope that helped I hope that was clear um, these rules are a bit weird. I actually had to brush up on them myself. Um, I think there's another one as well. I saw someone use like ASS or, or something like that. So, you know, if it's angle, it's probably going to be side. If it's H, it's hypotenuse. You know, you can probably guess them even if you don't remember them in the exam. Give yourself a, you know, a fighting chance. Uh, yeah, but, you know, try and revise them, obviously. <laughs> Today. Anyway, yeah, uh, best of luck. I hope it helped. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just drop them below. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So thank you so much for watching the videos. I appreciate it. And uh, best of luck with your maths. Thanks for watching.